We are joined now by such a special guest. I'm I'm excited for this interview. What a great feel good story Absolutely. with Michael Herrera. 24 years old, making your PGA Tour debut. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, you for having me. Yes, absolutely. You're the player exemption, sponsor exemption in this tournament. So Farmers Insurance kind of reached out to you, or can you explain how that works? Because you've been playing on the APGA Tour. Yeah. So Farmers is a big, big sponsor of the APGA Tour. And so um, if you finish top three in the money list uh, after the Lexus Cup, then you're usually up for an exemption, whether it's this one or Genesis. So fortunate enough, I played uh, very well, and uh, I was up for this exemption. Didn't know if I was going to get it, but um, I was very fortunate enough to find out after the last event. How does that work? You get a phone call? No, so they Text? surprised me. So yeah, uh, the Farmers has a, a fall series, which is, uh, I believe, five events that they put up for us on the APGA Tour. And so the final event, uh, I finished my round, didn't have a good week. And I was ready to head out, and uh, Cole Smith said, you might want to hang around for a little bit. So Aww. so I was like, okay. And uh, Chris Reimer, a great guy, pulls me over and asks me, can you, can you do another interview? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. So I walk into a room, and that's when all the farmers, um, the employees are there. And uh, the Century Club, the uh, the CEO, uh, Marty, he's a great guy. Of course, that's yeah. And then my uh, basketball coach is there as well. So he's the one who introduced me and, and oh. said, congrats. So. All right, well, you brought up basketball. So right. let's sort of explain. How, you're from Moreno Valley. You were a little kid, drove past the golf course, and said, I want to play that. And Dad says to you, what? He said, that, that game isn't for us. <laughs> he said yeah. that, that it's like a rich man's. Sport, right? Essentially, that's, that's, yeah. 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 So, so then you went on to play basketball, and you're apparently a really good basketball player, from what I understand. Yeah. You played college ball, but then you still just couldn't get golf out of your head. Yeah, I just I love the game of golf, and then uh, your career can last a lot longer playing the game. Um, so, and I'm six foot nothing, so that that doesn't help either. Um, and that great mentors, uh, Coach Matthews, which is my head basketball coach at Riverside City College. Uh, he introduced me to, to Cam Bentley, and then we struck a relationship and. He saw the talent I had, and he said, I think you should do the golf instead. So after my first year in college doing both, I played strictly golf after that. That's fantastic. So what kind of magic is it going to happen on Wednesday when you strike your first ball as a professional golf player with your dad, I assume, with an eye shot? He'll probably yeah. be following you every step of the way, right? Right. That magic between father and son is going to be a really emotional moment, will it not? Yeah, for sure. For, at least for him. Um, I'm going to be locked in and ready to play golf, try to win a golf tournament. So, you know, I'm kind of be in my own world, but for sure I know for him and my mom and all my family coming out, it's going to be pretty emotional. So do you have a, a big family that's coming out to watch? Yeah, I have at least, I think, 15 <laughs> family members coming out. Yeah, oh yeah. My so, oh, great. Yeah. So I have like a little uh, mini gallery. I love that. Yeah. So who, who are you playing with? Who are you paired with? I'm playing with uh, Harry Higgs, and then I forgot the, the other name. Um, but Harry's been a great guy. He, he talks to me when I was uh, eating earlier in, in the week, and it's been great. <laughs> so how many times have you played Torrey Pines? I mean, was this, was, is this a course that you visited a lot? Because I know you eventually got to play as a kid because right. you found out you, could, you can get on some greens. It's, right, right. It's fun for the kids to get out there. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever come this way? Um, so not till a little older. Okay. Uh, the APGA has the Invitational, and I, so I played the north side in 2020. Uh, never got to play south side uh, in competition. So I'm excited to do that this week. And fortunate enough, Farmers has gotten, um, has good connections here at Torrey Pines, so they let me come out three times in the last month oh, and a good. half. So I got to see both courses three times. Well, how, how do you think it's, it's playing right now? Uh, playing pretty tough. I don't think it's going to be too low to win. Uh, the rough is really up. We had rain the last couple of weeks, yeah. so it's really juicy and keeping the short stuff. I mean, I, I would think you could swing swing away because you've kind of already won without even hitting a golf ball. The fact that you're in this field, mm -hmm. I mean, you're, that's a bucket list deal. So right, you can right. you can play play pretty loose, can you not? Yeah, yeah, I have nothing to lose. Um, shooting for a top ten, uh, if not a top ten, a win, because um, I want to play next week. So uh, yeah, if, you, if I'm finishing top ten, then. Uh, back to the mini tours. Well, this so. might end up being your, you'll be a rich man to play in this sport, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you can throw it right back at the old man. Yeah, yeah. When, I mean, ha have you been watching a lot of these golfers for years? Was there a golfer that you really looked up to growing up that yeah. made you love the game? And, and are you getting to play with uh, any of them? Yeah, so um, Harry Higgs, uh, recently, you know, watching him come through the ranks, he's a great guy, but. A uh, guy I really looked up to was Jason Day. Of course, Tiger yeah, Woods, but yeah. besides Tiger, Jason Day and course, yeah. uh, Tony Finau. And Jason Day took some time um, yesterday to talk to me, and Aww. we had a good 30-minute conversation, so that was great of him. Well, was that do. again while you were eating? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I see. No, that was in the back of the range. <laughs> so, I mean, I know you're only 24 years of age, but suddenly you're in a position to advise young kids about following their dreams and and don't always taking the first, accepting the first no. Or can you right, speak right. to that a little bit? I mean, yeah. Um, you, you just don't let anybody tell you no. Even family. You know, my dad told me no for a long time, and I kept bugging him, and finally he caved in. Um, so just chase after your dreams and anything is possible. I'm a clear example of that, that you know, you can do what you want to do if you put your mind to it. So um, just keep striving and um, just keep grinding, working hard at whatever you're doing. Michael, when I'm uh, looking at the box scores later yeah. to, uh, yesterday, you're going to be the first name I look up. I, I, I wish you a low score, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to travel around with a pack of 15, the Herrera <laughs> yeah. family, yeah. watching yeah. you, cheering you're you You're a feel-good story, and you're a feel-good person. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, you're easy to root for. And we will be. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Best of luck, Michael. Thank so you. excited for your success. All right.